How we doing guys? Got a fun one today, meeting up with a bunch of guys to do a little motorcycle run. Uh, first off, I'm meeting with one of my boys from high school at the gas station. We're gonna fuel up and then over, head over there. It's down the street, so I'll be there in like two seconds. But yeah, it should be fun. I rode with these guys last year, but at that time I had the Hondo Shadow, so it was a little rougher just because the seat is mad uncomfortable on that one and they were riding for you know a long time and uh yeah it's a rough ride on that bike so now i have the sporty bike i can keep up a little better and uh of course we missed the light because i'm on a motorcycle a little chilly out today though Earlier in the week it said it was going to be 65, 70, but now it dropped down to I think a high of 62. Hopefully, you know, it gets pretty hot, but I'm layered up. I have a sweater, long sleeve shirt, my uh, coat, and uh, I wore some uh, handmade custom jeans. It's got two layers of denim made by your boy. I'll get into that on a later video on like some of my... Uh, side hobbies and stuff like that but yeah the gas station is coming up on the right he said he's there already I live up the street I I'm always running late only by a few minutes though so he should be here there he is I'm gonna grab some gas first though cool thing about this is it has a stopper my old bikes I didn't have that Boom, done. You ready? <laughs> it's been a minute. Good, yeah? Dude, I did that with like a passenger helmet one time and I like scratched the uh, subframe. Really? I was so mad, yeah. Like riding with it? Yeah. Yeah, I tried to like do it as tight as I could. This thing is sick though. You just got it this year? This shit is, f shit is fun, bro. You gassed up? I saw that a bunch of people are meeting at Flory's and Fishku. I mean, we might as well if they're gonna go there. Cause I don't really know how to get there. I know the general area, but once I get to Newburgh, I'm gonna be lost. I know it's for 300. It's like exit 7A or 7B or something. All right. Let's just go to Flory's. All right, let's do that. So yeah, we're gonna head over to, it's called Flory's, it's another gas station right on 84. We saw that some people were meeting up there first to go over to the Newburgh spot. So uh, we'll see if anyone's there and then head over. Cause like, we know it's at the Newburgh mall and like generally we know the direction, but not exactly. I meant to look it up this morning, but I was kind of in a rush. this dude all right guys so there was nobody at Flory's we were a little late to that I think so uh, we're just gonna head straight to the spot they said meet up at 11 we should be there just at 11 so I'm not worried about them not being there or anything <laughs> yeah grab some views real quick yes sir
Well, we made it. Oh yeah, there's a whole lot of people over there. <laughs> God damn. What goes? Motherfucker's got the boosters and everything. over there <laughs> shit is packed oh. that's the aftermarket right the exhaust Aftermarket exhaust. That's what I was saying at the gas station. <laughs> it sounds sick on the road. Trailing from it. I'm, I want to do the the little like M4 shorty on mine. Shit is like 500 bucks though. I was like, eh, I'll wait till like later in the summer or something. But yeah, and I, I like that the XSR right here. These things are sick. It's literally the same thing as the FZ, just a different style. Oh, this is the 2020. I almost bought the uh, the 2021. I mean the 2022. I think this is a 2021. It has uh, 2014. But the 2022 is sick. It has like um that that blue right there on the wheels. It's fire. It was like nine grand and change. But I was like, eh. Huh? It's not terrible for brand. It is pretty good. Good deal, but I was like, let me get the uh, 2014, <laughs> the Busa. This thing is sick. It's clean too. The stretch on it. All right, guys, here we go. Everyone's getting ready to leave. There's a lot of people though. We'll see how we'll see what happens. Hopefully we don't get lost. Got to follow the guys in the green vest and uh, yeah, go from there. All right, so it has definitely been an eventful ride. Of course, my GoPro dies before we even leave or as we were leaving. So I have no footage of the first half, but hopefully my GoPro lasts a little bit. I can get some footage now, get some fun turns in, and uh, yeah. <laughs> Beautiful day out. So yeah, that's my one complaint about GoPros, is that the batteries really do not last. I mean, I pulled this one out, was hanging out for like 10 minutes. I didn't even record anything and I'm already at 75%. So we'll see what happens. I'm gonna try to get as much footage as I can right now. And uh, yeah, it's been chill. Everyone's been, uh, met some cool people. Although we are pretty separated right now. I don't know, know what happened. I kind of just took off. But there were a bunch of people in front. This girl is the, one of the leaders right here, so we'll chill with her for a little bit. Everyone's coming up behind us. Rough Rider vest. I've been riding on the right side this whole time and boy are these bumps killing me. 
need to hop in this left lane soon. gonna lie I used to kind of be a hater of uh, the GSXRs but I'm fucking with Kev's it's pretty sick I'm gonna have to take a spin on it the trade bikes for a little bit sometime makes me excited for a track day all these turns and stuff I'm really looking forward to going into the track this year I know these guys do a track day I might try to do it with them but I also want to do like a uh, like a rookie day you get a coach all the gear and uh, you know they'll take you through the track because you know they work there they know the track they're experts so why wouldn't you do that don't want to go out there and crash your bike the first time you go you know that would suck but yeah there's a track over by me it's about an hour and a half away it's called New York safety track if you've been there definitely let me know how it is it's a little confusing on how to sign up for stuff their site is definitely outdated but um yeah track day coming soon it'll be fun to record and stuff too Probably hit up 750 Kev to go. Hopefully some other homies. And uh, yeah, it would definitely be a lot of fun. It's like this corner right here has me itching to go in there. the best part of the ride to be honest even though it's kind of straight not much of a view it just feels nice to ride with everybody you know there's people from all over New York here probably even New Jersey maybe Connecticut Massachusetts I mean we have a good probably about a hundred people with us today Got the dually exhaust, GSXR jacket, let's go. Back on the mountains. turn here I want to, 
we gotta get a race in with the, with Kev. I wonder how mine would do against his, because I know it's a little faster than the 600 and the FZ09 at high speeds is gonna, you know, stay with the 6 for the most part. It's gonna lag behind a little bit. But the 750 might just wait, take off. So yeah, I finished up riding with the uh, Hudson Valley, I guess they're just called Hudson Valley Riders. And, uh, yeah, it was chill, brought us to a school area, brought us to a brewery, had a food truck, but uh, we're gonna head out, grab some food somewhere else, enjoy the ride over there, it should be pretty quick. Yeah, it was a fun ride, had a good time. Met some people. This should be a nice back road ride. <coughs> I'm probably gonna end the video here on the way back home. But yeah, this is the first moto vlog of many. The first one that actually worked out too. I was a little nervous earlier, obviously because my uh, original GoPro died when we were starting in. I wasn't sure if we were going to make any stops. Luckily we did. Got to throw a new battery in, get some footage. But yeah, it was a good time. Thanks for watching and uh, see you on the next one. Heh <laughs> heh.